You know, as many times as we say it out loud, it's pretty unbelievable that Eric Swalwell, a member of the House Intel Committee, had sex with a Chinese spy called Fang Fang. It's remarkable. It's also remarkable that Patrick Donahoe is a major general in the U.S. Army. Now, he's a general, but he doesn't seem as interested in keeping the country safe as he does in promoting a very specific political point of view. So he spends most of his time apparently online harassing political opponents of the Biden administration. Last week, General Donahoe was lecturing a student at Hillsdale College on the merits of mandatory vaccines. Hey, Hillsdale, come get your boy, wrote General Donahoe. That guy's really a general? That's when another user asked this, quote, hey, General, how many wars have you won? Now, rather than asking that question honestly, and of course the answer is zero, Patrick Donahoe responded this way, quote, don't be a shill for Putin. So here you have a major general in the U.S. Army accusing apparently an American citizen of being a, quote, shill for Putin because that person criticized Joe Biden. Are you comfortable with that, with a highly politicized U.S. military, military that acts basically as the armed enforcers of the Biden administration? We shouldn't be comfortable with it. Ned Ryan is founder and CEO of American Majority. He joins us tonight. Ned, I, I just, I can't help thinking, you know, you think of all the guys who joined the U.S. military because they love America and they want to defend the country and were endlessly right. grateful for their real sacrifice. And they are. It's not just, it's, it's a cliche, but it's true. They do sacrifice in a big way. And then they have leaders like this who spend their days on Twitter calling people Putin shills because they disagree with Biden. Like, how, why is this guy still... It, it, commanding anyone. Why isn't he resigned? Seriously. Well, it's because I think the left has, has yet again been successful in another long march through yet another institution, which is the senior leadership of our military, uh, which I don't think should be that surprising, Tucker. I mean, a lot of these senior officers have gotten advanced degrees from indoctrination centers of higher learning like Harvard or Columbia. Uh, and a lot of them got their stars, I think, if we were to look back in the Obama administration, where they got advancement, not necessarily through merit of how good are you at tactics, how good are you at killing and destroying, but how good are you at parroting the left's talking points. And even more so, it, it appears this General Donahoe thinks that he'll win praise and advancement by attacking conservatives and populists. Uh, that's where it's gotten to. And, and, and you're right. Now we've gotten to this point where we have a major general in, in, in the military uh, who looks at attacking a private citizen's right to speech, which includes a right to dissent, as though it's the right thing to do instead of actually defending their constitutional rights to be able to have freedom of speech and freedom of dissent. And I think, Tucker, conservatives need to uh, have an adjustment in their thinking and start to look at, at the world in a different filter in which the DOJ and the FBI and, and, quite frankly, the military, which are supposed to defend the rule of law and protect Americans' basic rights, are no longer doing that, are basically acting as a Praetorian guard for the ruling class of the administrative state, which is, I think, a very dangerous place for us, not only domestically, Tucker, but also on the international level as well, because a woke military against the Chinese is not a good thing. I don't understand why Republicans in the Congress, why Mitch McConnell or Adam Kinzinger or Liz Cheney <laughs> say they support our troops. Why do they sign off in the military budget? Why don't they say, I, I want to fund the military, I want to defend the country, but Patrick Donahoe has to leave Fort Benning and resign? You can't have a politicized it's military. That's insane. Why does nobody say that? Because I think Republicans especially have lost sight of the fact that they do have oversight, but they've lost the guts, they've lost the courage to do so, in which the Chris Rays and the Donahoes of this world, who refuse to have oversight, who have politicized the military and the FBI, uh, continue to do these things because they think they can get away with it. And it's simply a lack of political courage by many Republicans in D.C. who would rather posture on TV or send sharply worded letters instead of actually doing something by cutting yeah. budgets and having real consequences. I, I feel so sorry for the people who serve under Donahoe. He should resign immediately. He's a disgrace. He I should. appreciate you coming on. Ned Ryan, thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.